Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and welcome back. In the last segment, we discussed uh, two types of products that were classified by Marshall Fisher as functional and innovative products. And then we saw that functional products require physical, a physically efficient supply chain and uh, innovative products require responsive supply chain. And for efficient supply chains, we need make to stop production environment. And for responsive supply chains, we either require assemble to order or make to order production environment. But that is just one uh, aspect of uh, this uh, story. Uh, supply chain has two extremes as we saw in the first lectures. So on the one side, there is supply side, that is the upstream. And on the other extreme is the demand side or the uh, downstream. Uh, so Fisher's uh, model that classified the supply chains into two types actually saw just, uh, just the demand uncertainty, but supply can be uncertain as well. So Fisher matrix is based on demand uncertainty. Two types of products based on demand uncertainty, and then we saw based on those two types of products, two types of supply chains. But what about the supply uncertainty? So supply can be stable, but it can be evolving or uncertain as well. So if there is stable uh, supply, there are less breakdowns, stable and higher yield, less quality problems, more sources of the supply. Generally, uh, reliability of the supply is high, few process changes, capacity constraints are few, changeover is easy, flexibility is there and lead time is dependable. But if the supply is evolving or uncertain, uh, these characteristics of the supply sides are just opposite. So based on the supply uncertainty, we, we have two more types of uh, supply chains. So we have yet another matrix. So if we have on the x-axis demand uncertainty, and that increases from low to high, and on the y-axis, we have supply uncertainty and that, uh, that is slightly labeled in a different way. So here it is low and high. It is done for a purpose to better understand these four types. So if demand is uncertainty is low, that is demand is certain. And supply is also certain. So we have what we have seen is efficient supply chain. Now, if supply is certain, supply uncertainty is low, but demand uncertainty is high, then we have responsive supply chain. So that is what we have already seen that these are two types of supply chain when supply is certain. But demand uh, is certain in the case of functional products, we will have efficient supply chain and demand is uh, uncertain for innovative products and we have responsive supply chain. Uh, but if demand is certain, demand uncertainty is low and supply uncertainty is high, we have another type of supply chain that is a risk hedging supply chain. A risk hedging because there is a risk of supply. And if both demand and supply is, uh, are uncertain, we have agile supply chains. So these are two more types of supply chains based on supply uncertainty. And if uh, demand is certain, but demand, uh, but the supply is uncertain, we have risk hedging supply chains. And if both demand and supply are uncertain, we have uh, agile supply chains. So uh, let's take a few examples. I would rather encourage you to, to pause the video and think of some examples for each types of supply chain. So think of some examples of the products that uh, require each type of supply chain. So in the first cell, we have efficient supply chains for functional products. Demand is certain, supply is also certain, both uh, uncertainties are low. So we have grocery products, basic apparel, food, oil and gas, and all commodity items, they require physically efficient supply chains because they are functional products. And if demand uh, uncertainty is high and supply uncertainty is low, fashion apparel, computers, smartphones, and most of the gadgets and uh, electronic products, they are 
innovative products so they require they require uh, responsive supply chain for risk hedging supply chain where demand is uh, uh, relatively certain but supply is uncertain we have hydroelectric power that is especially a problem in our country some food produce and uh, for example the supply of uh, in our case uh, uh, so we gas during especially uh, winter season so these are examples of products and services where demand is known but supply is uncertain and finally the agile supply chain so telecom products especially the high end computers and high end products that are not used by the common uh, consumers they are special purpose uh, and their demand and supply both are uh, relatively uncertain so for example uh, electric cars delivery drones that are used to deliver products to far flung areas and uh, as a as a clue you can keep in mind that uh, the products that are innovative and are also new i mean there is a totally new variety of the product that is introduced and that is actually and innovative products so such products have both the demand and supply uncertainty to be high and they require the agile supply chains so you can think of uh, more examples as well finally i have this slide for you it again relates uh, your uh, product life cycle with different production environments so during the introduction phase you are actually using either engineer to order or make to order production system uh, once mm, there is the growth phase so you are moving from make to order to make to stock and these production processes are generally used during maturity phase as well and during decline again you move to make to order or assemble to order but i would recommend you to further think on on this slide and try to uh, to get some insight out of it so these were the four types of supply chains based on demand and uh, supply uncertainty Uh, these were four types of supply chains. So I hope the concept is 